After yesterday's horrific tragedy in San Bernardino, California, people are demanding answers as to why assailants opened fire, killing 14 people and wounding several others. Some people have gone as far as to speculate it was because of Christmas. I think we will eventually get some indication on what that dispute was about. Uh, this was a holiday party. Uh, maybe it was called a Christmas party. I mean, it, it's so many potential triggers here. We've seen groups like ISIS brag about how they use open immigration policies to sneak their militants into various nations. In reaction to this, many United States governors have said that they're not going to accept refugees into their respective states. Now we know not all refugees are terrorists, we know most refugees are not militants, but with the flimsy excuse of a Christmas tree or Christmas decorations that set this guy off, we're going to ask the people here at UT, should we ban religious festivities on public universities? We're asking people if religious holidays should be allowed on public universities? Definitely. Religious holidays should be allowed in public universities? I think so. You mean like they should celebrate Christmas in a classroom or just set up like Christmas decorations on the sidewalks? Set up Christmas decorations on the sidewalks. Yeah, for sure. Set up something like a Christmas tree or anything like that, would that offend you at all? No. I think it's fine. So if they set up a Christmas tree or anything like that, that wouldn't offend you? No, I thought. It's all about respect. If they set up a, a Christmas tree or something else out here? Would that bother you at all? So if somebody set up a Christmas tree out here that wouldn't offend you at all? Because I don't know if you heard, uh, many people are speculating that yesterday's very unfortunate shooting in San Bernardino was somehow religiously uh, motivated. In California, but I feel like that's only like relevant to like, only there are still a lot of people who would actually go do that sort of thing, and I feel like it's... <laughs> the basic cricket sells for $125 here with an extra $16 for her talking tape. The newest of the high-tech toys are interactive. They respond to your voice or your touch. Watch Baby Talk. <laughs> baby Talk's realistic conversation and responses come courtesy of a microcomputer. Retailers say she's the hit of the season, even with a $70 price tag. Analysts claim technology will be the driving force in the $12.8 billion toy industry for at least the coming year. <laughs> they expect the high-tech toys to boost Christmas sales by 8% over last year, yet sales are likely to remain flat for the year as a whole. The fall-off in sales of older lines was just too great. As a result, Standard & Poor's expects the biggest companies to show off whole hum performance for 1986. Hasbro's expected to increase earnings by just three cents a share. Mattel is likely to see earnings drop by two-thirds, from a dollar to 35 cents a share. And Coleco, known for those Cabbage Patch kids, is really hurting, will lose money for the year. By contrast, the smaller companies that move quickly into high tech are likely to be big gainers. Worlds of Wonder with laser tag is likely to triple its earnings. Lewis Salou, led by Baby Talk, will see earnings jump from a penny a share in 1985 to over a dollar a share this year. We're told to expect 